You know me, I just love bagels. That's why I got all excited when I was invited to the Bagel Freedom Project. That's right, I just grabbed my cream cheese and headed on... Oh, wait a second. Oh, so stupid. Beagle Freedom Project. Oh. The Beagle Freedom Project is absolutely amazing, and I was there to celebrate the reunion of the San Diego 10. On May 18, 2012, 10 Beagle Pups were rescued from an evil laboratory in San Diego. Who in their right mind would do these experiments on the Beagle? I mean, the Beagles are just friendly. They're loving. Well, that's exactly it. Because they don't fight back and they're non-threatening, close to 300 companies throughout the United States and UK conduct experiments on them and over 80,000 of them are bred specifically for laboratories. Here I am schmoozing about saving these 10 pups a year ago. Amazing. And look, they're getting to know one another all over again. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Look at those big ears. FYI, beagles happen to have one of the best senses of smell of all the breeds. I'll tell you that much. And look, here I am with Kevin and Monique of the Beagle Freedom Project just discussing what's going on. I mean, Snoopy is a beagle. Everyone loves the beagle. And they work for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, not only in our country, but in other places like New Zealand and China, and they sniff bags and everything. Yet the FDA uses them to test drugs and chemicals? I mean, they're pouring shit into their eyes and giving them various cancers. Oh, what a precious pup. These San Diego 10 are so ecstatic. They're just so happy to be free. Oh, wow, look how they celebrate their freedom. Hello there. Oh, you two get a room already? Please! I guess they remember one another. Following the beagle, the beagle, the beagle, following the beagle. Oh, what an amazing day I had. Look at these babies. Beagle bonds! Every owner was incredible, rescuing these pups. In laboratories across the United States, they only have federal ID numbers, which are tattooed on the inside of their ear. How terrible is that? It's like they mean nothing to anyone. Oh, look at Jen Keith. She's the founder of the Beagle Freedom Project, which is, FYI, a service of the Animal Rescue Media and Education. Unbelievable, these pups. I'm so happy they were rescued. Can you imagine that? Oh, look, it's a bag of treats for each one of the ten that was rescued from the San Diego lab. Oh, I really want one, please. Please let me get one, please, says this pup. Please let me get one. Oh, this one's just a little baby. All these beautiful beagles. I can't believe it. Tattooing their ears and just doing experiments on them like it's nothing. And using taxpayers' dollars. What the f***? That's when I decided to get myself a tattoo. That's right. Look at that. Names, not numbers. And look at these amazing tats. Watch as these two beagles dance in slow motion. It was an incredible day. The Beagle Freedom Project. The San Diego 10 Reunion. To find out more, visit thebeaglefreedomproject.org.